Dr. Liz Howard of Loomis Basin Equine, and today we're going to talk about tick fever. Tick fever is a bloodborne infection caused by the bacteria Anaplasma phagocytophilum. It's a gram negative obligate intracellular bacteria, and it was previously known as Ehrlichia equi. We see tick fever most commonly in the fall, winter, and spring months but more so in the spring months from February through May. We see this disease in horses of all ages, and we see it mostly at elevations of 1,400 feet above sea level. Anaplasma phagocytophilum is, is carried by the tick species Exodes, most specifically the western black-legged tick, which is Exodes specificus, and the deer tick, Exodes scapularis. It can be carried by either adult stage ticks or the nymph stage ticks. You can see the difference in size based on the pictures here. The pathogenesis of the disease starts with uninfective eggs that become uninfected larvae. Those larvae then attach onto reservoir hosts such as mice, rats, lizards, or squirrels. Once you have an infected larva, it grows up to be an infected nymph stage or adult stage. Those nymph and adult stages can both infect both uh, horses, sheep, cats, dogs, and humans with Anaplasma phagocytophilum. You can see the adult stages here infecting those different types of species. The clinical presentation that we see is usually after an incubation period of about 10 to 14 days after exposure to an infected tick. Most commonly, we see high fevers anywhere from 102 to 106 degrees Fahrenheit. Horses are generally depressed, they have a decreased appetite, they can be icteric, meaning that their mucous membranes look yellow. They can also have broken blood vessels in their nose, um, on their gums, or inside the vulva. They also can have lower limb edema. Here are some pictures of those clinical signs. This is icterus. You can see the yellow sclera of this horse's eye, some broken blood vessels inside the nostril, and some swollen limbs on this horse. The way we diagnose tick fever is through clinical signs, but in addition, we do blood work. We do a complete blood count and a chemistry panel, and we see generalized changes that are specific to anaplasma phagocytophilum infection. Additionally, we do a PCR blood test, which is very sensitive and specific for the infection, and we can run that test in-house at Loomis Basin. Once we have a definitive diagnosis for anaplasma phagocytophilum infection, we treat with IV antibiotics, oxytetracycline, so you can see that in the bag here it's a yellow um, antibiotic that we give IV and after we treat with oxytet for several days we switch to oral antibiotics either doxycycline or minocycline most commonly. Additionally we'll give horses banamine throughout the course of their infection to help reduce fever and we also recommend that people offer supportive care um, giving your horse multiple different types of food that they might like when they're not feeling good and offering them fresh water at all times. Here's another horse receiving his oxytetracycline treatment, and this is a picture of the oral antibiotics that we give. Prevention of tick fever can be really difficult. Um, there's no vaccine for this disease, um, and so really your prevention relies on uh, tick control, which is not always easy if you live out in an area where there are a lot of ticks or you tend to go trail riding on um, areas that are tick infested. Um, you can use tick control sprays such as, as frontline spray. This spray is actually designed for dogs and cats, but it can work on horses too. You spray it on their hair before they go out into pasture, before you go on a trail ride to help prevent ticks from latching on. Um, it's important to remember that it's not contagious between horses, and while horses cannot pass it on to anyone, any other horses or humans or dogs, Humans and dogs are at risk for primary infection. With the tick fever season rapidly approaching, if you feel like your horse may have signs of tick fever, as in high fever, decreased appetite, 
depression, please give us a call at 916-652-7645.